early and hold on my heater still on like I am so damaged like my stomach feels crazy But your girl is fasting and all I can eat right now or drink right now is like nothing that I can chew. So <laughs> forget the eating part. Well technically a smoothie. Could you consider a smoothie being eaten? What? Anyway. I think I'm about to just go make me some tea. I got this new peach, peach, ginger, and turmeric tea. The package said it's spicy. Don't know what that's supposed to mean. I'm going to try it. I'm going to douse it in honey. And I hope it makes me feel better because I feel so, like, queasy right now. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, and you're probably like, isn't she shooting a blow dry video? Her hair kind of already looks blow dry. Um, yeah. I actually already attempted to film this video and It stopped recording literally 50% of the way through. So I'm just like, I am gonna remake this. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna get it done. So here I am, a week later. My scalp is so itchy, you guys. <sighs> no amount of words. It's itchy. It's dry, there's build up, product build up. My eczema around my perimeter is just tore up. It's, it's time, but I waited so that I could record. So I'm not even mad, but just no. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna go make me some tea. I'm definitely gonna come back with a little more energy after that. I'm probably just gonna drink my tea and go wash and do finish in my hair. And when it's all clean, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back and get right into it. I'm out the shower. And this is typically what I look like when I get out the shower. With my t-shirt on. And my t-shirt on. So yeah, I'm gonna just take that off and I'm just gonna go along with my typical routine. I'm just gonna oil my scalp and my perimeter. And I'll show y'all what I've been using for my perimeter. Cause I actually had an epiphany last week and I realized using typical oil was not cutting it, it was not cutting it. So I'll show y'all that, but right now I just wanna kind of look at my hair like this is the first time I deep conditioned it and I can't even tell you so I'm just kind of taking a look at it investigating it's like borderline orangey copper brown it started off really red <laughs> I'll probably put a picture right here but yeah, this is it now. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I haven't done a deep conditioner in so long. So I wanted to go ahead and do that. So it's feeling really good. It feels really good. 
smells really good. Um, I'll show y'all in a second to what I used for the deep conditioner too because it's um it's a leave-in rinse out or a conditioner like you can use it for like multiple reasons so I use that because it's like a protein concentrated type of product and I noticed with it being so cold out and my hair just being in that blow dried brushed out state for the week it was like shedding a little bit like strands of hair on my clothes and i would just be like um the fuck? this doesn't happen i'm gonna go grab it and show y'all if you want to use it because my hair does feel really good so this is it. it's called l'oreal paris power restore and i don't know if you can see right there but it says 91 grams repair concentrate with protein so that's what made me feel like I could just use it as like a quick little one-two because it does have a lot of protein in it. So I don't necessarily need to keep it in my hair for too long. This top really looks crazy, so just bear with me. This is old and I just realized it's on my shelf and I should use it. But yeah, this is what I'm using now for my... Hold on, let me let it focus. This is what I'm using now for my eczema it's like a butter and it's for dry skin dry hair and scalp i just need something that's dedicated to dry hair and scalp versus me using an oil to moisturize it because in real life the oil that i use is really just a sealant there are particular oils that are sealants and there are some oils that will moisturize, but for the most part, oil is used to seal in moisture, not to solely moisturize your hair. So I knew that, but it's like, I guess after a while, I got so lazy and caught up in life that like, I just was like, whatever, I'm doing something. So I just do this and keep it pushing. <laughs> and I knew it wasn't like working. So I'm just like, okay. Then I had the epiphany like, okay, yeah, like, let me, let me let me so this is what i've been doing i'm just sectioning off my hair oops <gasps> excuse me to get ready and moisturize it before i blow dry so i'm gonna use this i don't know y'all this has been my go-to believe it or not i got this from the dollar store it smells amazing believe me and it melts like in my hair like my hair feels like butter so i'm just gonna use that and then i'll get into the other products as i go but let me go grab my spray bottle and then i'll just speed right through this If you're wondering like why I'm like drenching my hair right now, if I'm about to blow dry it, it's because that's what gives you a better blow dry. Like blow drying hair on damp hair or like thinking, okay, like if I dry my hair, like air dry as much as I can and then blow dry, it's gonna get super straight. It's actually like counterintuitive. Like for some reason, like you need that water to get that good stretch. So that's why I'm drenching my hair and adding the product so it could be nice and stretched and moisturized at the same time. I said I was going to speed through this, but I'm talking to y'all, so yeah, I guess that's cool. 
so you guys i'm gonna use the tension method i always use the tension method i feel like i've been using it before i really knew what it was <laughs> um because i just not that i'm like necessarily a lazy natural i mean as of recently i have been but when i was transitioning like six seven years ago i was down for any and everything like i wanted to do what i had to do but when it came to blow drying i just felt like it was senseless to constantly be doing like this i don't know what it was but i'm like why would i keep doing like this when i could just like let it dry by holding it like this and then like having my blow dryer and then just kind of like letting it dry like this so that's what i'm gonna do i'm really just gonna like detangle my hair and then stretch it as far as it could go without the brush slipping and then once i have the blow dryer on and i just kind of patiently just let it dry it does it fairly quick that's the thing like in some people's head you might feel like okay but you're wasting time because you're just letting it sit there dry nah like this is the goat method of blow drying like are you kidding me so <laughs> that's what i'm gonna do y'all gonna watch me do it and you can just like see it's kind of you know once you see me do it you got it You guys that was three minutes and this section is already like dry like yes i could probably get it more straighter and i will but like <laughs> this method is such an energy saver and a time saver um and you might notice that when i'm like brushing i tend to flip my wrist down like this i like to use this part of the brush to get my hair even more straight rather than just using the bristles this helps to stretch my hair that much more especially at my ends because if you have curly hair thick curly hair you know that's usually the hardest to get straight so yeah you'll see me doing that and yeah
So this is what my blowout is looking like. Very full and thick and straight. It literally looks like a lion's mane with the color. Low key, low key, low key. But I'm digging it. Like if I wanted it even more straight, I would just do like smaller sections, but we're going for the heatless curls, so we don't need it super straight. We still want some volume and some texture to it. I mean, the texture ain't going nowhere even if we wanted it to. We're gonna make a side sweep parts, not like too deep, but I definitely want to have like a little accent part so i'm gonna make it a little bit it's a little spicy a little dip dip and hip and dip and hip <laughs> i think that's good because mm -hmm. i don't know but you know <laughs> i'm just gonna make it a little more more of an accent towards the bottom. Like a little more swoopy. Just like that. Add some oil to my part. I'm gonna do like four sections and then break those up as I go. One. So I'm gonna start on this section. I'm gonna break this into halves, and then I'm gonna come over here, break these, these, this into halves, and the top. You just kind of freestyle it, but that's what I'm gonna do for the back. Part does not have to be perfect. Just gonna get it on out the way. You just want to make sure in the midst of you sectioning. Um, you don't mess this part up because you don't want to do that. That peach ginger turmeric tea is really good with some honey. Okay, first thing y'all were probably wondering. I'm going to use Cam Tool. 
this if you're a natural i mean i don't even gotta say nothing i'm gonna use a little bit like right on the tip of my finger for every section and for my heatless curls method i'm going to use bantu knots and I thought about doing this because when I initially was working out, okay, what style am I gonna do? I'm like, I want it to be quick and I want it to be like straight to the point. And I knew I wanted my hair to be blow dried. So I'm like, okay, like, but what you trying to do? Like, what you trying to do? So I just had a thought after I knew that about how like when I am sectioning my hair off and I do like little buns like this and stuff, how like it kind of gets curly just on its own just while it's sitting and i was like oh, maybe i could just do that but more intentionally and then that'll just be you know what i'm saying so the goal here is to use as little product as possible to um shorten the dry time because if you have thick low porosity hair like me you know a little something about dry time <laughs> so that's why i'm just gonna use this gonna use this baby and i'm gonna do smaller bantu knots just to be sure that i get enough definition but if you feel like you just want to do five six even like four bantu knots go ahead like i promise you as long as you leave them in long enough for like the little bit of product you do use to dry like an hour hour and a half if you want to sit under the dryer make it 30 i promise you you'll get the same results so this is just me being extra i'm gonna go for like 10 bantu knots but watch me end up with like 20 just watch me end up with 20. but yeah i'm gonna go for like 10 so i'm gonna section this off probably probably into like two or three sections so every section i do will probably be max three in the back and then the front will probably end up with like five bantu knots up here wait up here so let's get into it, y'all. To secure every band tuna, I'm gonna just use some rubber bands. So this is the amount I'm gonna get ready and use. And I refrain from putting it on my roots. We wanna keep those nice and stretched, but I do it on the shaft. And then as I do the bantu knot, I'll add more on my ends. And I'm just twisting in place. And I'm not gonna twist my roots up yet because the roots naturally get tight the more you twist so unless you like really want <laughs> to have some like tension on your scalp don't don't tighten up the roots until you literally get towards the end of your knot so here i am i'm gonna add some more product just to the end oops and i'm going to come it up and continue to twist and you can twist in whatever direction is comfortable for you and just be sure to tuck your ends in so they can set nicely and that's my first band too long
Hey my babies, present day Adore here. I just wanted to pop in and kind of break down how I go about doing my free parts. This section right here on the front is a pretty big one so I started off by breaking it in half and then I'll start on one half to begin. I break the first half into about three sections and I'm not using a comb or trying to be very perfect about it. I'm just going to use my hands to fill each section to make sure they're about the same size because I do want about the same size curls in each part. So that's what I'm going to do. And when I add my product, I try and be efficient and go right into my Bantu knot. This way my hair does not revert. You'll see me twist about a quarter of the way down. And when I get down to that part, I'll hold my roots and begin wrapping. I will wrap, then hold, twirl, wrap, hold, and twirl, wrap, hold, and twirl. Okay, you see where I'm going with this? So the key to holding is important because that's what's going to keep your roots from tightening from the very beginning. You really don't want them to tighten up until this point right here where I'm finishing up the bantu knot and I wrap it the final few times, okay? Also, I chose to use a rubber bands for this style just to make sure that my ends stayed secure. If my hair was in a wet state, I possibly would have just tucked them underneath the knot and let them dry that way. But my hair is pretty thick and my ends didn't seem like they would stay that way in this particular state. So I went ahead and used the rubber bands. So this is optional. You guys can try it out for yourself and see how it works for you. Um, maybe if you add enough product at the ends, it will stay in this blow dried state. I'm not sure it's just me, but I just wanted to clear that up. You don't need the rubber bands because it did take me a little bit of a while to go around and cut them at the end. So, yeah. By the time I had all the bantu knots wrapped up in my head, about 30 minutes had passed. And you guys, that is so good compared to my braid outs and my twist outs and how long they take. So I was very pleased with the fact that I did choose a style that was going to be very quick and easy and beautiful at the end. So if you do want to see those beautiful results, stay tuned and we will get to the takedown very soon. Okay, so my bantu knots are done. They done. It's giving very much baby colder. <laughs> but that's fine because we're gonna get these curls. I'm gonna let my hair dry for about an hour. Did not use much product, so it's not gonna take so long to dry. Maybe I'll sit under the dryer. Still counts as heatless because I'm not putting direct heat on my hair. But um, if I do that, I'll sit under for like 20 to 30 just to speed this up. And yeah, y'all, this is what it's looking like. I'm really laughing at myself right now. But I'll get back to y'all when it's time for the takedown. Okay? I ain't back. I ended up sitting under the dryer. 30 minute count. First thing I'm gonna do is use these little scissors to cut the rubber bands off. All of them first. 
then I'm gonna get some oil, apply it to my fingers, and then coat everything and just take it down. Handy dandy oil, this is tea tree and olive oil, if you don't already know. The packaging is irrelevant, I used this up a long time ago and I've just been using the package. A few moments later. Okay. I'm excited to take these down. Okay, let me just make sure they're all coated with the oil. Or just twist. Which direction? So I'm twisting in a direction that I twisted. Then it'll look something like this. So I'm going to continue to do the same old thing. Oh, it's looking shiny. And then once they're all out, see me like literally untwisting, untwisting, untwisting. And then when you get to the ends, be very delicate. There you go. Oh my goodness, what a difference deep conditioner makes you guys. Like, my hair is already looking so much more healthy than the last time that I did this. Like, wow. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep unraveling. And once we're done, I will separate. So this is what my hair looks like when I just unravel the bantu knots. Oh, I missed that. How did I miss that one? <laughs> this is the kind of look you're going for. You could brush it down, pin it down, pin it up, and have that chunky look. But I personally love volume, so I'm going to create more volume by separating as much as I can and then using my pick like it ain't volume without a pick so I'm just gonna continue taking down the ones that I've missed and then I'm gonna section everything off and separate one like section at a time So here's the before, here is the after, and I could even separate a little bit more if I wanted to, but I just like to wait until I get most of it separated and then I decide, okay, more volume, you know, do I want more definition, do I need a more of a balance, 
and go from there but i do separate i start by breaking the piece in half and then redefining the halves by twisting them or twirling them around my finger the same direction that they naturally are going and then i start with one of the halves and i do the same exact thing break off a piece twirl it in the direction it is curled break off a piece curl it in the direction it is curled let me find my other half I'm just gonna do the same thing see even that piece was too big and again it's totally up to you like what size you want to separate them in you could really just separate them twice and go for that chunky look and you'll be looking just as amazing and i'm just starting at the bottom in the back and i think to make this easier on myself and so i don't keep missing pieces i'm going to just automatically take little pieces instead of doing halves first but sometimes doing the halves helps you get a more neat look rather than a frizzy voluminous look so that's why but i'm not really pressed for that right now i think i'll be okay this is the method i'm using and i can just watch me and um it'll be easier for you guys to see like once i get to the front We have a straggler. Hmm, I wonder what happened there. So, I'm just literally gonna take the little frizzy piece that didn't get curled and just try and force it to curl into <laughs> a curly piece. I don't know what happened there, but it's okay. We, we got more hair to cover. I love it already. I love it already. I low key have PTSD from the first time I recorded this, and I keep thinking that. <laughs> I'm going to look up and it's not going to be recording anymore. But so far we're in the clear. 
comment down below if you had storage issues with your iPhone as well. Like, that was not fun. So not. Part of me isn't all that this is from like a Bantu not out like I don't know I just never in my natural years saw this state of my hair coming like it's doing it it's doing it and y'all can too I <laughs> get it can too can too can too <laughs> no pun intended So, this is my hair, 100% separated, no picking, no round two of separating. This is just how it's looking. Honestly, I'm, I'm vibing. I'm vibing with this right now. Like, I don't know. I guess the part and, and the, the length that it's giving is like creating a shape. And I really don't even think I want to separate anymore. Okay. <laughs> but what I will do though, like I can feel like the part in the back. Let me show y'all. I'm just gonna use my hands and like gravity <laughs> by like moving my head around. Try not to disturb the curls too much, but the fun part for me is picking. After years of being natural, I finally got the pick with like these kind of teeth. It makes me feel some kind of way. I don't know, but um, I've heard that it creates less furs, or that they alleviate furs. I should say. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use this to pick, and y'all see like how I go about picking. This is day one, so I'm not gonna go crazy with the picking. Um, I like to preserve my curls if I can, but I definitely did get a little bit more height over here, which I like. I probably got the part out, it feels like it. But, um, yeah, I'm just gonna check. So I did get the part out. I'm just gonna fluff. Honestly, I'll fluff all day. So this is just the beginning <laughs> of how big it'll be throughout the day. Um, and if you have a really long bang, you can um nope. You can get a bobby pin and slide it right there and it'll hang down a little shorter and just give you a little bit more zhuzh and shape to your hair so that's just the heck but 
And yeah, like I said, the Bantu knots be in some kind of shape here, especially with the part. So I actually don't have to do that for once. guys i'm loving my hair it turned out even better than the first time i hope you guys like it too and i hope you guys try this out like look at this it was so easy one product minimal dry time what else can you ask for so if you enjoyed this video and if you're enjoying this look go ahead and give this video a thumbs up Leave your comments down below and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos I've got for you. See you on the next one.